Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Hemisphere S631 as a network rover through Field Genius. So to begin here, I've just got a video playing in the background showing you how to put the SIM card inside the receiver. So if I open up my A-side battery door, you can see that one of the uh, two options I have there is for a SIM. So if I lift away that plastic square, as I've already done, you can see that there's a little metal tray there. And if I slide that tray towards the battery contacts and lift it up, I can then put my SIM card inside, at which point I'm just going to flop that metal tray back down and lock it in position by sliding it away from the battery contacts. And once I've done that, my SIM card's properly seated, I'm ready to begin uh, using the software to set up my receiver. So what I'm going to do inside Field Genius here to begin is I'm going to hit Select Instrument on the right here, and then make sure I have GNSS Rover selected. And then I've already set up an instrument profile for my rover. If you don't know how to do this or you need to set up your own profile, I'll just link to a video in the top right corner there. And once my instrument profile is properly set, as it is in this case, I'm going to hit connect. And this is going to initialize my Bluetooth connection. This is going to bring up my link configure menu, and I'm going to make sure that device type is set to GSM module and that my device port is internal. And once those two are set, I'm going to hit uh, press to set up here next to device setup. And that's going to bring my mobile settings menu up. So my network options are the options for my SIM card. So in this case, since I'm using a hologram SIM card, uh, I only have to enter an APN of hologram. So since hologram allows you to connect to any of the major carriers, uh, we, we do carry the SIM card if you're interested in it. Uh, just check our website out. Um, I only have to set my APN. I don't need a username or password. If you're using another carrier, such as Rogers here in Canada or Verizon and AT&T in the States, you need a different internet APN and a different username and password um, in order to set up your SIM card correctly. And then my next step here is I'm going to set my data source up. So I've already entered information for Stormcaster, uh, our own proprietary um, network solution. Um, and if you're interested in learning more about uh, how you can use your own Basin Rover to do network point-to-point -point solutions, uh, I'd suggest checking our website out or the other videos on our channel. I'll just link to them below in the description. Um, but what I'm going to do if I want to set up a new um, network option here is I'm going to hit press to modify for my NTRIP settings. And then I'm going to hit add here. And then in my settings here, I got description, address, port, username, and password. And I'm going to um, enter all those. So description is just going to be the name. So in this case, let me call it Stormcaster. So the address is going to be whatever the NTRIP address is that your um, subscriber provider will give you. Um, your port you will also need to get from your provider, and then username and password is going to be uh, specific to you. So since I've already set this up uh, for Stormcaster, I'm not going to do that. You can see right here I got it. So I'm going to close out of this menu here, and I'm going to select the Stormcaster one that I've already created, and then just hit select in the bottom left here, and then hit OK. And that's going to bring me back to my link configure screen here, and I'm actually ready to set my rover up. So I'm just going to hit connect here, and it's going to initialize the modems. Once initialized, I'm going to see my NTRIP caster option here. And since I've already done this once, you can see that I already have a mount point option that I can choose. But in this case, I'm going to hit request source table. Um, and then my receiver is going to pull all possible um, bit mount points that I can connect to. So in this case, I only have two mount points that I can connect to. And since I'm in Calgary here, I'm just going to use the Calgary Stormcaster base that's actually set up in our office here. Uh, and I'm going to select that option. I'm going to leave my correction format as is and my NMEA required as is. And I'm going to hit select and it's going to connect to this mount point and I will be ready to start surveying. And there we are. We're back at the main menu here. And the last thing I got to check before I can start surveying is I got to make sure that my HI is properly entered. I already have it properly entered at two meters. But if I wanted to change that, I just click this antenna height here. And in the resulting menu here, I can change my HI to whatever is desirable. So I'm going to leave it at two meters because that is correct. And if you want to know where to measure your HI to, I'll just include a link to another video in the top right corner. So once my HI is properly set, I'm going to hit OK. And then if I hit RTK fixed here, you can see that I can now take a fixed solution. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video, including Stormcaster or the Hemisphere S631, please check out our website at bench-mark.ca, or you can give us a call and talk to one of us in the office at one 286 3204.